Hey guys, thank you so much for taking this class with me. Today we're painting this bird. So I've been painting lots of birds lately and I was doing a lot of wet on wet, but this bird is painted half and half. When you look at the background, there's a lot of that white spots from the paper. That's because I was wetting only partially the paper, so not everywhere. And then I was just spreading the paint and there's some blooms, but blooms are welcome here. Like I really didn't mind to get these blooms there. First, I started with sketching. So I did my sketch and I highly, highly encourage you to try to sketch on your own. It helped me to get better as a painter and I know it will help you too to get better with painting in general even if you paint with other mediums and these are all the art supplies that I used for this painting so Arches Cold Pressed watercolor paper 300 pounds so don't worry if you don't have this thickness of the paper so 300 pounds you can paint this bird on 140 pounds if you like texture like I do you might as well paint it on the wrap watercolor paper and 11 11 is a nice size uh, overall to cover like all the detail as long as your bird is big enough of course and then we have the brushes so flat stroke three-quarter size this is how I painted actually the background I used this brush don't worry too much about matching these colors and i did use like three uh blues so ultramarine light then fellow blue red shade and royal blue don't worry about having all three of them together a lot of it was mixed with the quinacridone red and then this is a screenshot of my working palette so you always know what colors are placed where on my plastic palette so the first thing here i'm going to do is dilute some of that paint with water but not just dilute it also mix it together so this is flat three-quarter size brush i call it flat but actually it's called stroke so when you look at this brush it's princeton's brush they call it stroke brush but it's just a flat brush and now i am wetting so I'm using quite a bit of water when I bring that water over to my paper because I want to connect these pieces while they're still wet. So as you see, like I brought in that cadmium yellow pale leaf green and then I started adding sap green. So just part of that paper was wet. And then I just continue expanding. So basically now it's like wet on dry. If you would like to watch a full video tutorial with voiceover for this painting, please go to Patreon, www.patreon.com slash Maria Mordain. You will find a lot more voiceovers over there. So full video tutorials with a voiceover where I talk through the entire time.
if you are interested to take some of my classes, I have voiceover tutorials on Patreon as well. And to check out the list of available tutorials, please go through the index on my website. The link is www.mariamorjane.com dot com slash patreon dot html then the website address for patreon is www.patreon.com slash maria morjane i hope to see you there